hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue our registered user list to delete that records so guys now let's get started so first let's move to our user list.php file let's go let's close all these files and go to user list.php file and this is the delete button so now let's comment this and write a code a form tag which is method is equal to post and one button submit which will be delete let's minimize this and copy the class for designing this button paste let's give a name for this button which will tell user delete button okay so we'll tell this as register user delete button you give a unique name it should not clash and the value you can provide value value is equal to the value are going to take the same value user id we are going to take and pass this inside that that's it so name and the value you have sent already now so guys now when you submit this it should go to code.php file let's move to code.php file with the method post by this name and the value on this button so let's go to code.php and let's move this below so guys let's use if condition to check the button is clicked or not so if a set of dollar underscore post method of your button name let's copy this user delete button and in this button only we have the value that is user id is equal to dollar underscore post method of your user delete button so inside this we have value also so we are taking that value over here and then guys we are going to delete that so how will you delete let's move to our documentation see a delete user you can see this so let's copy this and get back and paste here so over here this dollar uid is already there so let's remove and this uid is present inside this okay so guys when if the id is wrong or something goes wrong over here so for that case we are going to use try catch catch function and here exception we are going to send dollar e and then this paste inside this try catch so if it is executed then you have to show the message so it is successful let's copy that message printing so using session variable with the name status user deleted successfully and go back to user list.php same file okay and if it's not deleted then you are going to show that okay no id found okay save and now let's get back to this user list.php to show the status okay so we have already coded that over here to show this message it's done and now let's test guys let's get back refresh and let's try to delete this with prakash account delete perfect user deleted successfully and there is no record so let's see in our firebase authentication let's refresh cool so data is deleted guys now let's try to add that by registering it once more let's log out let's register with prakash n phone number and email minimum it should be three one two three four five six let's register user created successfully now let's try to log in with that same account okay one two three four five six we are logged in so you are logged in successfully let's see in user list cool so we have the account over here let's see in our firebase database i mean real time database
perfect so you got this data over here so guys successfully we have completed how to delete this record so guys thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share